Good morning and welcome, or good afternoon to some of you in Europe. <laughs> All right, good morning, good afternoon. Hello. If you haven't seen in a couple weeks, it seems so long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Great to see you all. This, of course, is day one of our five day referral challenge. Uh, looks good, good, good. Everyone's showing up on time. Hope you're excited. Hope you're ready to learn. Hope you're ready to make, uh, make refer get referrals, give referrals over the course of this week. Uh, who was, by show of hands, who was here with me last time I ran this a few weeks ago? Any of you or partly? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No problem. No problem. So thank you for being here. Yeah, this is uh, definitely complimentary. I intend to always keep it complimentary because we want you to all be able to learn the technology, use the technology. And as I said, both get and give referrals. Um whether, whether you love technology, love to hate technology, <laughs> embrace it, whatever level, there's uh, no problem here. It's a lot easier to use the global nexus than I think a lot of people realize. Uh, so we'll go into it shortly. And uh, just so that you know, I call it the global nexus because I white labeled the program from Scott Cundill, who is the CEO and founder of My Most Trusted. So some of you are already familiar with My Most Trusted. You may already have the Chrome extension, but I call it the Global Nexus because again, it's our white labeled version, as well as if you are a paid member of the Selling on the Spot community, then you have the benefit of the members section. Okay, so let me start there. By show of hands, who already has the main version called My Most Trusted as a Chrome extension on LinkedIn on your computer? Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so some of you. Um, but again, the My Most Trusted version, not the Global Nexus. Okay, so who also has Global Nexus already on their computer? Okay, no problem. <laughs> That's what I wanted to, I wanted, wanted to clarify, two different versions. So, okay, no problem. Uh, okay, so what I would like to do is uh, have our starting point. So this, of course, being day one, this is going to be a journey that we're going through over the five days. If you can attend every day, that would be fantastic because we're building on the prior day. And obviously, you're going to get the most value by participating to the degree that you can. Uh, and uh, so I call it homework because, of course, what we cover here. Uh, each day we're going to cover a new part of it, a new piece of it, and how much you implement it is up to you. Uh, so we're going to use these sessions partially as a working session, but again, the after hours, uh, the more that you can put into it, the better for you so that you get greater results by the end of day five. Okay, sound good? Who's committed to improving and getting results, right? For your own sake, that's of course what we want. Okay. So what I'd like to do is to, for the sake of today and starting off, because not everybody here knows each other, which is phenomenal. I love that. I love that I'm already connecting each of you to new people. Um, an hour is going to fly by fast. So in a moment, we're going to go into introductions and I really need them to be clear and concise, please. Uh, especially if you know yourself to be a long talker, then please do not talk long so that I do not have to cut you off. This is literally meant to be like a 30 second tops as an introduction as to who you are, who you serve, what you do. But what I also am asking each of you to do is then what kind of referrals are you looking for? Okay, so what I want, I want to, what I would like to clarify is we're not just looking for customers and clients. We get that, okay? Obviously, you'd love a referral from somebody that we know that might buy your product or service, but go bigger than that. Is there somebody, some type of business perhaps that you want to connect with that through that partnership, through that joint venture or strategic alliance, you could grow? Okay, does that make sense? Does everybody understand what I mean? Like thinking big, bigger picture, what kind of connection would you like to get this week through us? Okay, because a lot of us are well connected. And again, the more that we implement and put into the global nexus, the better results that we're going to get. 
So I'm going to go through uh, introductions by the order that you are on my screen. So Desianne, that makes you first. Everybody, please unmute and be ready to uh, introduce yourself quickly. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night, everybody. I am Desianne, and I am from Trinidad and Tobago, which is in the Caribbean. I am a virtual assistant coach and trainer. So I work with persons who are growing their virtual assistant businesses or starting one. And in terms of connections, I am really looking for business owners who want to hire a team of virtual assistants because I promote BAs in the Caribbean specifically. So if you know anybody who just needs to get a team on board to help with all of your administrative, creative, or technical services. Perfect, perfect. Great intro. Thank you for that. And Desianne is part of Team SOTSM. <laughs> she definitely has a few different roles for us <laughs> and also wants to learn the global nexus for her own VA business. <laughs> so thank you for that, Desianne. Now, after each of you introduce yourself, please put your LinkedIn, only that one link, uh, into the chat. Because again, our Chrome extension is on or through LinkedIn. So this isn't the marketplace. We're not throwing sales copy in the chat. We're not putting any and every link in the chat. Just please put your one LinkedIn personal uh, page connection so that you're all connecting with each other. Okay. So Desianne, if you could do that, please. Mona, welcome. You're up next. Please introduce yourself. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mona Tenjo. I'm from Germany. And Heart Centered Coaches hire me to get started with AI to grow their business and free up time. Uh, and I help them build a six-figure business in just two years or less. And who am I looking for? I'm looking for coaches that coach coaches. <laughs> so uh, people who uh, aggregate, basically, uh, other coaches who are looking to grow their business and who are not covering the tech side of things or who are not really dealing with AI, which would be like mindset coaches, relationship coaches. Um, yeah. So people who like to work with people usually. <laughs> and great way to put that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, so please put your LinkedIn link in the chat. I just put mine in there as well because there's a few of you that I think, uh, one or two anyways, that I think we might not be connected in LinkedIn yet. Okay, so please click on each other's so that you become first degree connections with each other here today. Okay, thank you for that. Sophia, please introduce yourself. I am Sophia Zoe of Sophia Zoe Healing Arts. I'm an energy therapist who specializes in clearing trauma. I sell programs on telesummits and I also do individual sessions. So I'm looking for people to promote me on podcasts and, and telesummits and also specifically um, decision makers and corporations who might want to hire me for their corporate retreats. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Great. Great way to explain all that. Awesome. Thank you. Please put your link in the chat. Uh, Lynette, please go ahead. <laughs> Everybody be prepared. That's all right. I was just writing down some notes about Joey. Uh, sorry, Joey. Joey. <laughs> 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 oh, my head's all over the place this morning. Sorry, everyone, uh, there for that little thing. Okay, my name's Lynette Trumper, and I'm a relationship marketing and sales conversion specialist, helping business owners and sales professionals follow up and stay top of mind with clients' prospects through an automated system powered by send out cards. So the people that I'm looking for at the moment uh, to be most connected with are people um, in the marketing arena because one of my uh, aims this year and that is, is to get uh, send out cards and to use it to its maximum uh, to be part of business owners marketing programs so people that say things like i'd like to add the greeting card into a system but i don't know how to do it i'm not creative um so we've got packages in that that i think are really really good in that for business owners who haven't got the time who want to be consistent so people like your real estate your insurance um brokers and that they are also really good for me so i've got my linkedin uh yep information in the chat there now so, so lynette i'll use yours as an example um like great that you're great way that you've worded who you're looking for but at the same time i would say also 
that a great connection for Lynette would be people like me who have a community, because then if I become a raving fan, which I am in this case of send out cards, then I might bring more people to her, right? Or could could introduce entire groups, okay? Could partner, could become affiliates for each other, that sort of thing, okay? So that's what I mean for each of you. We're looking at who is your target market, who would be your best customer or client, but as well as what would be one connection that might lead you to hundreds of other customers or clients or connections. Okay, everybody good with that? Yes, awesome. thank you, Jane. Yeah, exactly. No you said it exactly. That's right. right. Let's go bigger. Let's go bigger. Let's let's achieve a lot this week. <laughs> All right. With that, Tracy Lynn, please unmute. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tracy Lynn George from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Mm -hmm. I'm an author and publisher. Yeah, woohoo, Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my my mission is to let those who are dealing with mental health issues, bullying, realize that the they are not alone. And I'm looking for people to help me spread that message. Whether through, you know, advertise my books, podcasts, you know, how, you know, as you can see, bully on my back, that bullying is one of my current issues because there's a lot of it going on. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. You, so yeah, podcasts, that podcasts, sort of newsletters, blogs, you know, I'm, I'm willing to work with anybody to promote that it's not okay to bully. It's okay that, you know, if you have mental health issues, it's okay. It's only temporary. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for that. Please put your link into the chat. And Phyllis, go ahead. Good morning. I am Phyllis Arnstein. I'm in Florida. And I help people with their debt through a software program that through a free analysis, we show you how you can pay off your active current debt in a third to a half the time using no extra money. It's all about the math, the timing, and the algorithms. My program is good in the United States and in Canada. And I am looking for a referral to a HR person in a hospital that is in the city that you live in. I'm also looking for a referral to the HR person of a large law firm 50 or more, and then also an HR person to a CPA firm that has 25 or more. And that is me. And my LinkedIn is in the chat. Awesome. Well done. Well done. I love how much you that you've thought about who a great connection is for you. Very clear. Awesome. Thank you for that. Abdullah, welcome. We haven't met yet. Please introduce yourself. Hello, good, e uh, good evening, everyone. It's evening here. So I'm in Manila. Uh, just a, and I, I'm on an island nearby uh, Manila, Philippines. Nice. So yeah. I am also from the Caribbean origin. I'm not Filipino. And my family's from Antigua, for anybody who has heard of that place. So that's where my family's from. So I have a virtual assistant agency with uh, associates in the Caribbean. But I'm here in the Philippines now because I have a team here also. So we're serving individual business owners like Lone Wolf Realtors um, or businesses like dentist offices or other medical practitioners, tradespeople, any business, any business, any small business owner. So teams under five people or less. And then we have another group that serves up to 25 people. So if you have bigger operation and you need more more bodies, we, we can get that done for you too. So my uh, contact info is in the chat. Perfect, perfect, welcome, thank you. I love how many countries <laughs> we reach out to, <laughs> even in a small group like the 12 of us here today, and still two in Nova Scotia, woohoo. Uh, <laughs> especially since I flew back and I'm here again. <laughs> With that, Shiraz, great to see you. <laughs> After spending yeah. a week in Charleston at Icon Maker Live together. <laughs> yeah, we had fun. So I am Shiraz. I'm a reality interventionist. And women coaches hire me to unleash their full potential and scale their business to seven figures. Because most are sick and tired of inconsistent income, feeling like the best kept secret, and not having the impact they want in the world. So I help you become a high impact, high income, sought after expert in your field. Bottom line, you'll get to seven figures in two years or less, guaranteed. I am looking for trainers and coaches with large groups uh, that basically when, when you've got a large group, you find that a lot of people get stuck and get distracted, get sick, and you want to get them back on track to get your business going. 
those are the type of referrals are, that are great for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. And I had the pleasure and honor of having a session with Shiraz and I'm excited. I'm excited from what, from what came from that conversation and the feelings and <laughs> all of that. So I'll keep you updated, Shiraz. Okay. I highly, rec highly recommend it. So, all right. Thank you. Alka, please go ahead. My name is Alka. I am an artist and I paint on unusual surfaces. And there are many different unusual surfaces that I do paint on. And I am actually looking for people who would like their, um, like the inside of their house redecorated or upgraded. And that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Or people that can connect you to them. Yes, people who again. So for them. all of you to think bigger than just who the end user client is, is who do we know? Um, like maybe real estate agents, for example. Um, you know who are who are the ones that have a lot of people in their network or their connections that will be your future <laughs> client. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alka. Abby, please go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh... I'm Abby Bassey Cripps, and I'm flying in from Tech Heaven. <laughs> Give your computer more protection and uh, productivity. What would happen if your computer crashed right now, and how would it affect your business? It's my pleasure to turn those computer frowns into smiles so you can have more productivity, more joy, and ease with your computer devices. And what I'm looking for is referrals of anybody that is stressed with their computer. Thank you. Okay. And again, or those that have a community, I really want you, you also, Abby, to be thinking that way. Okay. Who has groups of people that therefore can refer you? Okay. Cause we want all of that all, all within this week. Awesome. Thank you, Abby. And last, but certainly not least, Sue Coleman. <laughs> Morning, everyone. I'm coming to you from Oakville, Ontario, Canada, not Nova Scotia, but Ontario. <laughs> so we win today. There's more of us. <laughs> True. Entrepreneurs hire me to supercharge the networking skills because most struggle to make an impact full of connections and follow up. I help them to identify their ideal right fit client, master the art of relationship building and ensure the networking in the most fruitful environments. After working with me, they'll see improved networking results, improved revenue, and impact, guaranteed. And right now, I'm in the process of putting together um, a course or a program to take realtors who are earning five figures to six figures uh, by improving their, rela their relationships, their networking, not about the sales skills or that. It's really they miss the boat with um, building their relationships. So I'm looking for um, anyone connected to the real estate industry, because I think that's also mortgage brokers, financial planners. They also suffer the same you know, problems with moving their business by building their relationships. I think so much is focused on, you know, you've got to talk to the client and you've got to get that client. I, they need to build relationships with people in their industry who could become referral partners for them. And, mm -hmm where i'm coming at it from so it's a very wide net but yeah anybody, sorry. <laughs> real estate <laughs> yes perfect perfect okay thank you sue and please put your link in the chat now as well sure, and sure. then what i'm doing is putting in our selling on the spot marketplace chrome extension link into the chat now uh, so if any of you have not downloaded again or installed our version please do so now it takes about five seconds, maybe 10. I just put that link into the chat. So please uh, then install it so that it is in LinkedIn. And of course, this is a Chrome extension. So you need to be in Chrome, not Edge. <laughs> yes, people ask me that. Um, so um, does anyone not have that? Like, is somebody doing it right now? Do we have a few of you that are installing it right now only? So I just want to make sure that all of you that are in front of me have our version specifically. So you're going to see the little selling on the spot marketplace logo. I'll share my screen. Actually, first I'll share this one. Um, so this is where you would be going to in the Chrome web store. 
and adding it. Okay, so some of you might again already have a different version. You can minimize them both to your screen. You can use them both. Sometimes for whatever reason, um, some people find it confusing to use both. And again, Scott Condell, the founder and CEO himself would say, if there's no specific reason for you to have his version only, it makes more sense by being a part of the Selling on the Spot community to use ours. Because especially if you are a paid member, which by a quick glance, most of you are, then you're going to get that you have the premium version. We gifted that to our paid members recently. Kudos to you that got that gifted for free. It is a $72 US per month value alone. And we want everybody to ideally have the premium version. So that's why um, that's now part of our paid programs. Phyllis, do you have a question for me? How do you install both? How do you I have the, um, I don't have yours. I have the other, you know, I don't yeah. know Okay, no problem. So yeah, it should allow you to still install ours as well as. Yep. And then I'll share my screen. And I'll show you that then you're just going to have two things. Yeah, two little icons. Uh, let me share my screen here. So for those of you that have uh, the global nexus, you're now going to see here to the top right, the selling on the spot marketplace logo. And when you open that, this is our Chrome extension. So if Phyllis or anybody else has a second one, you're going to just see a second one that you can open and close. Phyllis, is that how you see yours? Okay. Now, is yours with another community or is it specifically my most trusted? Okay, you're muted, just so you know. Sorry, my most trusted. Okay. So again, if, if it becomes confusing to you to have both, which it might, um, because of how we get and give connections, it actually is simpler to just use one, in which case I would uninstall my most trusted because you have more features with ours. Okay. Right. So Scott's the first one, like I said, that would say there's no purpose of having his. <laughs> ours is now technically better because we have the member side. Okay. So if I uninstall his. I still keep the same referrals and all my connections. Absolutely. And all that stuff. Everything is carried for it. Yep. Your okay. your dashboard will still look like this with all your connections and, and whatever work you've already done. Okay. Okay. So add ours first and then delete the other one, though the map, the order shouldn't really matter. Okay. So um yeah, you know, I still cool? don't yep. get it. Sorry. Okay. When I go into uh LinkedIn, I see selling on the spot, trusted connection alert. Is that the right one? Yeah, you're, you're, can you see my screen in the top right? Is that you have a message in here, correct? Sorry. Um, top, top right of my screen that I'm sharing? Do you yeah, see it looks logo, like that. The red banner, and you probably have a message. Yeah. There. Yep, yep. And you're going to learn how to use all this this week. Okay, I don't need to download anything else. Nope. As long as you okay, have ours and you see our logo, and the, when you open it, then you get to our dashboard here. Okay, so um, the top line here, there's a dashboard. Hold on, I was going back. Let me come back to seeing all of you. Um, how many of you have used it at least a little? At least a little. So, and who's absolutely brand new with it? I, I guess I used it one time when we were together months ago. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I don't no remember. Wrong answers here. I just need to know. Yeah. Point. <laughs> I, I tend to never go to LinkedIn. I, it's, I just like once every three months, I log into LinkedIn. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, you'll love this week then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hope you set some time aside for, for the homework portion then, <laughs> because you'll have more to do if you want the benefits of it. Okay. okay? And, and everything is easy and simple. Okay, so what I would like to you to all do then, and please watch my screen first, is in a moment, I'm going to have you each share how many, there's a few markers of how we want to look at where, what is your starting point today being Monday, and where we're going to get you to by Friday. So if you're all please looking at my screen right now, this is my dashboard. And you can see here in the top left under trusted connections, I have already added oops, 222 people in. Let's go back there. Okay, see how here in the red, it shows that I've taken the time and each of these things takes seconds. It 
takes some time and usually I, I call it the mindless stuff that you could do with the TV running or something at the same time. But I've taken the time to think about who are the people that are my connections in LinkedIn already that I truly trust, that I know I like, I trust, that I would refer. Okay, so for most of you, if not all of you, your LinkedIn is probably a little bit like Facebook, in which case there's some people in there you're thinking, I have no idea who they are. I don't remember how we became connected. You'd have to take the time to, to either read through their page, check if you've ever messaged at all, but you wouldn't truly refer them to us because you don't truly know them. So the brilliance of this tool, the Global Nexus, is that you can be adding people over the course of this week that you truly trust, that you truly would refer, because your own reputation is on the line. Right? Makes sense? If you're referring somebody, you're, you're saying that you trust them enough to have that other third party trust them as well through you. So you can see in the whole network, they have 32,000 people. So they're still sm small-ish and growing, but of course, the more people we each as a community enter, this will grow. Then to the right here, you're going to see uh, the member list. So those of you that are a member of Selling on the Spot, uh, then congratulations. We have 133 of you that have uh, been put into the member list. Uh, so that's another, um, well, that's that one's for me specifically, but here to the right, if you all see your nice colorful trustometer, okay? So that's looking at how many of these actions below have you completed to be able to move across the trustometer. So that's where the power of this week is because when I ran this five day challenge a few weeks ago, I think I was in the middle here, a uh, senior networker, and by doing more and more tasks, it put me in the top category, which is trusted advocate, which obviously makes you look phenomenal when somebody else is looking at uh, you through LinkedIn. Okay, you wanna show that you have all these trusted connections and that you're considered a trusted advocate. So immediately below it, you'll see here, one of the tasks are to do what's called a goal, glo excuse me, golden recommendation. Now I've completed, I've given 24 of them. I only needed 10. So that's why I've, I've already surpassed that. Again, we're not going into every single solitary detail today. Right now I'm giving you an overview. How many recommendations have I received? I've received 19 out of the 10 required to move up in the trustometer. I have made 45 introductions. I needed 30. Um, I have requested 33 of the 30 I needed. Um, and again, I've added the 22, okay? And I needed 100. So for each of you, the goal is to get to at least 100 this week, okay? And we're looking at moving up the trustometer. So what I'm gonna ask you to now take the time to do, just briefly, is in your get, grab your own results, your own current numbers, so we can look at where are you today, where are we getting you to by Friday? Okay, so I'll share my screen one more time. Not allowing me to, here we go. So in the chat, ideally just in one little blurb, please write in how many, like essentially your numbers here under the trustometer. What, what category are you in the trustometer? Like blue is newbie, this is really tiny on my screen here. Green is junior networker, senior networker, super connector, and trusted advocate. So right into the chat, which category are you in in the trustometer? And then how many trusted connections have you put in where my number is 222? And if yours is zero or single digits, that's fine. This, we're taking you from wherever you are now. And we're gonna set some goals because like I said, for most of you, your goal should be to get at least 100 people in. And then to be able to move up the trustometer, uh, again, looking at what your other numbers are. Okay, everybody with me? Everybody putting something into the chat? Anybody have a question? If so, please unmute. Um, 726 for Phyllis. Awesome. I'm just trying to read the chat briefly here. 
doing your networker, doing your connector, awesome, newbie, no problem. All right, doing your networker. All right, good. Any questions or everybody clear? Yep, so let's go ahead. I hate this, but how do I um get rid of I don't I guess get rid of his the other most my trusted. How do I okay. delete it? That's the okay. word I'm saying. Yep, no problem. Uninstall, yeah, no problem. Okay, so that will be on your computer because if you installed it on your computer. Let me come back to sharing my screen. All right, Phyllis, if you see to the very top right, the little looks like a puzzle piece here. That's where your like what? Uh, extensions are. Right. Uh, so you just need to scroll down to find it and then uninstall it. Okay. Yeah, because that's now on your computer. You need to uninstall it from there. Uh, okay. And then hours would be in there as well. Okay. okay. Anybody else with a question? I can't see you all right now, but anybody else with a question, please unmute. Or are we good to move forward? Uh, yes, I've got, well, it's just, I've just been trying to add some of the members on here today and we're not connected. So um, I need them to be connected to me, of which I think I've sent out connection requests and that's so I can add you to my trusted um, network. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so as I said earlier in the chat, I think you all put your link in there. If there's any of you that don't know each other, like I know Abdullah and Shiraz are newer in our community here. Um, so if you can each be clicking on each other's, but then you also need to refresh your screen. Okay, because some of you might have accepted the connection request, but till you refresh your screen, you won't see that. And for the sake of this week, we need you all being first degree connections with each other, including me. Okay, so is everybody connected with everybody here? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> I'm just checking. Yep. And I mean, yeah, we could still do it tonight, but it just makes sense to start here. And again, once you believe you've connected with everybody, then refresh your screen. Because otherwise it might just make it look as if it's not done, but it has been. Okay, do we need a few more seconds? Alpha, go ahead. So when we um, connect with them, do we just connect with them or ask to be connected by some like either you you or sue or whoever we will get to that <laughs> great question we'll get to that <laughs> right now right now it's it's using linkedin as linkedin you're just um asking for a connection to each other so that you show up as a first degree connection so let me see we'll get by. does tracy have um a linkedin profile page because i think this is a business page oh Tracy Lynn. Tracy Lynn, can you unmute? Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. I, I added my, because I put my business page, but then I, uh, Desi Ann had said, do you have a personal one? So I did post my personal one as well. No, okay, I'll repost it. Just give me a second. Yep. yep. Perfect. Great question. Okay. All righty. Yeah, because some of us do have, if I show of hands, who has a business page as well as? Okay, just a few of us. Okay, yeah, because I do have a Selling on the Spot Inc. LinkedIn page as well as a Jane War slash Trainer Jane LinkedIn personal page. So yes, um, and what we're going to be doing here really is based more on right now. It's about connecting with the person so that they are a first degree connection. All right, so I'm going to share my screen if there are no other questions. So and, I'm sorry, Jane, I'm totally lost. What, um, how, how, so I go into this little global nexus tab and then I don't see any people there. Okay, no problem. Just uh, let me get into that and then you'll understand far more soon. 
So I just wanted to, before we get to answering your question, so we're using Tracy Lynn as an example because Sue just mentioned her. So I just wanted to make sure like for absolute basics with LinkedIn, you are all understanding that you need to be a first degree connection. See how I'm show, highlighting here the first degree so that Tracy Lynn and I have connected in the past. Um, so I don't need to click. I mean, if, if you were each not yet connected, you would have to click on more and the word connect would come up in the options here to do a connection request, just like a friend request on Facebook. And then when you refresh your screen, if it was approved, then instead of being a second or third degree connection with, with each other, you become a first. Okay, so that was our first step so far today to make sure that all of you are first degree connections with each other here. Okay. I think Abdullah, Abdullah needs to accept mine. Okay. No problem. Thank you. And when I run this about a, another month from now, I'm looking to have 50 people here. So this is why we need to do this as quickly as possible <laughs> for the sake of, uh, for the sake of time. But again, I want to make sure everybody understands the steps first, and then you can see how many con more connections we'll have over time, how many more trusted connections we have, and therefore how many more recommendations we can be giving to each other. And then the added benefit of us being, of course, a global community is that we're not just Toronto based where I started, for example, but we have a few countries just in this group alone, which implies we're going to have much more uh, connections that we would not have made otherwise. Okay, one more time I'll ask, is everybody connected with everybody now? <laughs> we're good? Okay. For the sake of time, I'm going to assume we are then, because <laughs> like I said, this hour is going to fly by. Uh, so I'll share my screen one more time. If you could please watch my screen, because what I would like to, us to all understand right now is the basics of uh, not LinkedIn, but specifically the Chrome extension and how to be using it. So again, the Chrome extension is here to the right where you see this little logo, the selling on the spot logo. And you can see, you can just open and close it. It's there if and when you want to be using it. Uh, quick note that if you highlight it, you could actually move it up and down your screen as well. So if it's blocking something on your screen and you need help seeing it, just know that you can drag and drop and move it around a little bit. Okay, each of you, based on how much you're using it already is what message is going to be here. So you can see I have, it says for me, mine says Tracy Lynn George is a trusted connection because it is reading the fact that I'm on Tracy Lynn's page and that she is a trusted connection already. Okay, so what you, we, your message is on your screen is not going to be the same. So again, based on time here, we only have about 20 more minutes here. Please watch my screen. When I open my screen, first of all, I have the premium level membership. So again, some of you may not have that. If you're not a paid member with Selling on the Spot, you're not a part of our professional or pro plus level of membership, or we just haven't applied it to you yet, then you're not going to be on the premium version. Yours is not going to look identical to mine, but I am, of course, showing mine. Okay, so this shows you also the benefits of having the premium version. So right now I'm going to go through the dashboard. So if you can see at the top here where it says dashboard, <laughs> please know that everything is clickable. You can't break anything. When in doubt, you click on it. Uh, to learn it better. But of course, this little home icon brings you back to uh, the, the main dashboard here. The next option here, like it says, is search. It helps you view your trusted connections and grow your trusted connections. So as soon as I clicked on that search option, you could see that my screen changed. And now it, it automatically starts populating the people that have already added in here. Okay. Again, know that all sorts of things are clickable. So on your own time, you can definitely be doing more. One of the benefits is you can see other people's trust -o meter Okay, so in this example, Nathan, um, he has not used it much yet. He's still a newbie. Again, this isn't right or wrong or judgment, but it's showing you who's already actively using it. You can see Michelle Nystrom. Some of you may know her. She's been to Selling on the Spot Marketplace before. Look at her, she's already at the top category here. That, and you, you can see that she's put 346 people into her trusted connections already. So she's obviously an active user 
of the Chrome extension. She's obviously connected. She's taken some time and commitment to build this. She could be a great connection possibly for every single one of you. Okay, we're looking for who's active. That's why I'm encouraging you all to use this week for you to be active so that people can seek you out in the future as well. Okay, here's Armin. He's in Germany. He's in the second category so far. Again, this isn't about right or wrong. This is just showing how much people have been using it so far and which ones are on premium or not. That shows it as well on the screen. Whoops. Okay, then you can see, I'm gonna scroll back to Nathan as an example. Again, everything that can be opened, you can click on. So for those of you that are newer, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Sophia said you're newer, Shiraz is newer. Um, in this example with Nathan, you click over or highlight over the yellow hands here, that's the introduce option. Okay, so if we were ready to be doing an introduction, that's where we're doing it, the little, Yellow hands, as I like to call them. The contact details for each person is here under this second icon. Again, click on that. Their information pops up, name, email, phone number, that sort of thing. Of course, if you wanted to remove the connection for any reason, then you can. So with that little garbage can <laughs> icon, we're all familiar with as well. Okay. <clears throat> now, because... Uh, we have, uh, this also shows that this person, Nathan, has the My Most Trusted version, okay, and when it was added. So again, there's just different amounts of information on your screen. Uh, Michelle, for example, is part of CIBN. So there's more and more things, more and more ways that you can tag people, which we will be going into, of course. And again, each day through the five days here, we're going to add to what we're learning excuse me, we're also going to be adding tags. One of the tags I choose to add is, is somebody a selling on the spot member? Okay. Because that's of course who we work with the most. Um, in which case um, that is a tag I've created. And otherwise those of you that are using our global nexus is a tag. Okay. So again, these are just ways to sort and to see who is or isn't in a category Business networking is another category that I've created in the past. Okay, and again, for the sake of time, I'm going to move forward. Just trust that each day we're gonna add on what we're learning here today. Okay, next category here is called Match Me. I'm not gonna cover it in detail here today, but we'll just click on it now. Just know that the artificial intelligence, the chat GPT that is built into this is working for you in many parts of the Chrome extension, especially the match me feature. So not today, but there is this field where you can be adding who you most want to be connected to and the artificial intelligence <laughs> will work for you to find it and match you with somebody that's already in LinkedIn that is a great match for you. Okay. So if you see the numbers here, so Nathan is showing as a five out of 10, but that means a five out of 10 match for me currently for what I am looking for currently. Okay. Everybody follow me. It's not, it's not a judgment. Is he a good person, a bad person? It's not a connection. It's not telling me how many connections he has in general. It's, is he looking for the same types of things that I am? Are we a great connection for each other now? Just yes or no. Okay, Val Low is a 10 out of 10. So for each of you, when you're scrolling down and you have the, the numerals there, you're really going to want to connect, especially with people that are a 10 out of 10, a 9 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10. <coughs> Excuse me, I've already been talking too long. I'm going to lose my voice. Um, it's showing just a, how great a connection they are to you for what you are looking for. Okay, remember at the beginning of the hour, I was asking, who are you looking for? We're going to fill that in this week so that the AI will be also helping you find people, not just us helping you find people, but the AI. Now, if you're not on a premium version, it's only going to connect you to one person at a time. The premium version is unlimited. Okay, that's phenomenal. It can be searching for an unlimited number of connections for each of you. All right. 
Everybody with me? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go back to sharing my screen. All right, so next one here. <clears throat> Move my tab over out of my way. Okay, after the match me, the next one is the referral history. It's just sometimes handy to certainly look at who has been connected and by whom. So you can check to, to make sure that you've completed some tasks, that you've said yes to people asking for connections. You might actually say no to some connections. Okay, so again, please hear me on this because this is really, really important. Here in this group over the course of this week, you may be asking me for connections, but you're also gonna be asking for each other for connections. Please only ask for appropriate ones, okay? I cannot stress this enough. I have some very, very, very established, high up, multi-million, even actually billionaires in my connections that don't just, spontaneously say, hey, Jane, can I have a connection to them? As if you want to sell them your product or service. They're not necessarily a right connection for you now. My reputation in this example would be on the line as to why am I connecting you to them? And within the feature, you would be writing me a sentence or two as to why you want the connection. Right? This is, this is meant for building trust. So this isn't a, hey, I want to sell them something. <laughs> no, I'm not going to refer you to them for that reason alone. But if it makes sense for you two to truly meet each other through me and possibly, you know, book a one-on-one -on -one and grow some type of relationship, then I would be happy to make the connection. Okay, so please always be thinking not just strategically, but is, is it appropriate to be asking? Don't just look for as many as you can. We have the ability to actually reject uh, connection requests and absolutely we should because the purpose of this is to be ethical and not just connecting anybody to anybody for any reason. Okay, everybody good with that? Okay, another brilliant feature if you're looking at my screen is now they've added a follow-up option which I think is great. Instead of just referring somebody, connecting two people, opening, because it automatically will open a three-person chat, instead of just them leaving them and hoping they took the time to get to know each other and wondering if they ever had a one-on-one, -on -one, wondering if they did anything, it makes you look that much more professional, look that much more caring by clicking on follow-up. So this one's Mark Curtius and Sue Coleman. I could click into the same three person chat where I first introduced them and now follow up with them, right? I think that's brilliant, brilliant. So I definitely do that from time to time. I go back and I ask, have you guys met each other? Have you moved forward? Which shows I genuinely care. Now, majority of the time people will say, yes, absolutely, thank you again. So it's a really good feel good activity because then they're thanking me, they feel great about it. Um, and at the same time, it might be a reminder, it might be a really great reminder. They'll be the, oh no, I, I forgot about that. They was, they're down on my screen, right? Not top of your screen. It's easy to accidentally forget. Uh, so that follow-up option is phenomenal too. All right. So moving ahead, we'll complete that right now. I'll just minimize that and get back to following up with Mark and Sue. <laughs> All right, uh, so we were there on referral history. Next is if you want to find people, then of course uh, you're in this screen here. If everybody's looking at my screen, I went to the find and add people. Now, please also note to the right here, you have an advanced search that you could click on here and that opens up more categories. So you can search by keyword, job title, country, because some of you had said, um, Phyllis had said she can sell her product in Canada and the US. So she's not looking for referrals everywhere, right? So she might really want to be using that field. Some of you might want to grow locally first. Some of you might deliberately want to grow in, in a different country like I do, <laughs> Europe and Australia. So we can use these different things to work for us. 
Obviously, if we have company here, tags, uh, again, if you click on your tags, you'll see which uh, kind of criteria come up automatically. Industry connection type. So please note here on connection type, uh, again, the premium version will have more for you. If you're not on premium, it will only help you connect with your first degree. But again, this can connect you. It has so much ability to go to second degree. So the connections of my connections, right? So this, or and, and here the bottom one is the entire 32,000 that have been put in one way, in one through one group or another into the My Most Trusted full database of 32,000. So if I wanted to, for example, look for Australians, if I was doing it in my first degree, there's gonna be very few. I only have some, probably two or three, but if I went into the whole 32,000, for example, and click search, actually it searches immediately for you, it automatically, see how quickly it did that? In a split second, it automatically brought up all these people. So these are people that are in Australia within the 32,000. And I'm just using that one as an example. Okay, but this is, and then the high level part that I really want you to all to understand is now that I could say, well, who is Steve in this example or JJ or Sherry? I'm not going to ever directly message them right? That feels more spammy. Why, why, would I be, why would I be reaching out to them? The whole beauty of the global nexus is who can connect me to them so that therefore it's a warm, warm referral. So I was able to search, but then I'm searching for who knows them already. So I can ask for an introduction if I think it's appropriate. And if they feel it's appropriate, then they will be giving me the introduction. Okay, so you see the power of it. This is all about warm introductions, not being like what LinkedIn has turned into, which is a whole lot of, you probably get all those spammy messages, whether it's about VA services and AI and all sorts of different services. Um, or know that also not only is it spammy, but some of those are just chat bots. Those aren't even humans that are messaging you. Those are computers that are messaging you. And using the global nexus is all about warm referrals, warm introductions, human to human, based on the no like and trust factor. All right, so I'm gonna jump back into sharing my screen one more time. Again, we're not going deeply into each of these sections right now, based on time. Also, if you're now looking at my screen, again, in my premium feature is this little uh, gift icon called bonus features. And there are a few here, meet our top users, which is interesting. Uh, if you're looking at my screen, you can see how many of us are in the top users category. I'm there, I know Susan there somewhere too. <laughs> Scott Cundale certainly is number one for his own company. <laughs> a whole lot of golden recommendations here <laughs> as they should have, of course. Um, if somebody is a selling on the spot member, they're here in this category. So it's easy to click on here. And this is another brilliant feature of the premium version here. It says email your trusted connections. Now I did this yesterday. So if I click on it, it's not going to let me do it. It says you've already emailed your trusted connections this week. I love this because it's another feature that's built in to prevent any of us to possibly be overdoing and abusing things. It's only allowing for one email per week. And that email goes out to my 222 that I've added as a trusted connection. So remember at the beginning of this hour, I said, I suggest your goal, if you don't have a hundred people in there yet, to put at least a hundred people in. And for each of you that already have that or more, what, what number do you want to get to over the course of this week? Because then the email feature goes out to those people. In which case then, anytime you send an email, make it appropriate knowing that, that that's who it's going out to. Okay, so I sent out one that was reminding people about this referral challenge. That's who I really wanted to invite to this was people that are already in LinkedIn that would have seen that, that I've connected through my global nexus to 
but it was a real email. It went to their email box that they've set, added to their LinkedIn profile, but it doesn't just look like a regular email. It had my image, it had their image, and therefore it's probably going to be red because it looks cool and different. It looks like it has more of that touch point, right? A personalization. And then the email that I typed in there. Sue, go so ahead. Jane, just to clarify, that goes, you can do one email to everybody. You can't send individual emails. Currently, correct. Okay. Correct. Yes, great question. <laughs> you, you already know a little bit about the feature direction we're going. It is one email to however many trusted connections you've added. So if you have one or five or 10, it's only gonna go out to those people. I have 222 but it, it was one batch email. One of the many things that they're creating, and I believe it's gonna roll out this month, but don't quote me, <laughs> um, is that it can be sorted by tags. And that's why that will be one of the activities, we'll probably get to that tomorrow, is tagging people. Remember how I showed, I tagged some people as they're in my business network, but a second tag, tag for those for me that are in one of our members because a future email, I might wanna to send to members only, right? So that's a, one of the ways that tagging is going to be really important. Okay, so we've already run out of time. <laughs> Again, that was just the dashboard so far, but I really wanted to show you all an overview and show that when in doubt, hover over it, it pops up some information or it lets you click through, you can't break the system start using it, start learning it. And uh, every day this week, we're gonna build on it. So we're gonna be adding more connections. We're going to be looking at how to move up your trustometer. We're gonna fill in your match me feature or fine tune it if you haven't yet. Okay, we're gonna start uh, even giving the referrals and asking for the referrals from each other. All right. Any quick questions before we end for today? Okay. Again, for those of you that are newer, that might've been a lot. Scott himself says it takes about an hour of using it to fall in love with it. <laughs> I fell in love with it months ago. <laughs> I find it absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I'll give you one quick teaser. I'm wait I'll probably message him today now that I'm thinking of it to find out the date. One of the many, many, many things that they're building now, I believe it's going to roll out this month is when we are on Zoom. So for example, you come to a Selling on the Spot Marketplace online event that's on Zoom, because we'll have the global Nexus already installed, while in the marketplace, it's gonna be looking at who is a great connection and start doing that for us in the background. I think that's friggin' brilliant, <laughs> right? Because it's gonna look at what have you added into the Match Me feature so it's not just, did you get a yes from them in the marketplace? But yeah, there's still a great connection. It's still a reason to reach out, to build a relationship because it wasn't just about the offer. In this case, it's their great connection for other reasons. What was that reason? Reach out to each other and build a relationship. All right, so we are using the same link every day, but you will get a reminder email each morning. So I look forward to seeing you here back here tomorrow. We'll see if you poke around what you do on your own. I'll ask when we start tomorrow <laughs> and we'll see how much we each achieve over the course of a week. Okay. Thank you all. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.